Ah yes, the bird puzzles in Daviri. These are good for about two whole things. One being the new version of the Daiku, which is of course the Sinta, that only has its parts dropping from these things. Then if you just go to the Dorma Zone, or actually visit it. What is that, Ugh, I'm regretting this one. Keep an eye out for this. I want to say onion looking thing, but you'll see it appear on the map in a moment because technically the store not only appears in the Dorma Zone, but can also appear on the map. And who ah, yes, business? you. I don't really like your I? store that much, but it's the only way to get a hold of the Enigma stuff to actually pick up this, of all things, to be coming in for. Yes, this thing. It's actually kind of easier to find these things while flying around, because what you're looking for is basically one of these. Obviously getting rid of any enemies as you go. These things can be annoying because these are basically, I still don't know the exact name for these, but I'm hoping the owl looks something like it does on here because it's actually quite big and I would have loved to have seen that as a companion you can get that basically flies around with you, but these things can be annoying for a handful of reasons. The main one is you have to match these symbols on the orbs that are inside of there. You gonna actually open or am I gonna have to find out where you are activated from? I'm gonna have to find where you're activated from and I'm guessing it's there. By just shooting it. And when it when you get one that matches, I cannot actually remember what they were. Well, I knew there was a U on there. Ah, ah, damn it. It does make a noise. But I cannot remember what symbols are actually on this again. Ah, you see, I'm close. There it is. And it makes a little ding noise. There's actually two of them because these appear in different places. So this is kind of pointless to turn around and say this is the... This is just how you do them. They are literally everywhere. And when I say everywhere... I had started doing a different video about these that was trying to show how to complete each and every one of them, but I've kind of given up because there is that many of them. This is the way. In it goes. They appear absolutely everywhere throughout the map, and each one, you've just kind of got to pay attention to what's around you and find out where the orbs are, because some of them will, you will have to pick up and put in there, some of them, the actual code is kind of partly hidden, and I've heard rumours of there is co-op ones that you need somebody to stand on it and somebody to shoot, but I've done all of these solo and have never found one that's not completable by one person by themselves. That could just be down to the fact the co-op one doesn't spawn unless you're playing with other people, but you have to complete these, and the annoying thing is, each one of these will give you Out with it or move two. And then there's ones like this. For the record, same one. Oh, well, didn't, didn't see that coming. Uh, and as I said, watch out for enemies. It's just opened up, spewed it out, and there it is. To Enigma Gaium. People have told me they have lots of these. I know somebody who has four of these because I don't know. I guess they're just really lucky with these things spawning because the missions seem to be kind of random in where they actually spawn in and how many you can actually get to work but all of it is basically to get it's the only place to get a hold of the enigma gyrum and actually be able to pick up this bird and i really want to see what this looks like inside of the landing craft so after all of that just go to equipment and then orbiter decorate and try and find it because it'll be in here somewhere there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. A uh, little bit bigger than I thought you were going to be, but whatever. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. I was really, really in two minds about whether this thing was going to be worth the amount of time and everything else that they kind of expect you to put in to get this thing. Boosters be damned. Yeah. 
Uh, it is the right size. It is about the size of the one that's on the the pedestal that tells you what the codes are. N you quite done, game? Yeah. Now, obviously, can you interact with it? No. It does kind of follow you around ever so slightly, looks at you, and makes bird noises. Finding somewhere to put it can be slightly frustrating as well, because obviously you want it somewhere that's kind of hidden, but not hidden, out in the open. If you could interact with it, oh, I would... What I would love to do is sit it next to the uh, foundry, or sitting on the foundry. So every time you go past, it's just there. Mine, on the other hand, will probably spend the rest of its life in the top left-hand corner of the screen here, because it's kind of sitting on top of the Ayatan sculptures. Which is quite a nice place for it, actually, because you can see it from the back and the feathers moving and everything else, and it's constantly seen because, obviously, next to your arsenal is a good place to put items like this that are a... I really want to see a pain to get a hold of, but it does require a little bit of farming, and to be fair, by the time you've got that Sinta, you will probably have enough to buy one or two of these things. But I do kind of like the idea of having it sitting on one of the tables somewhere in the Orbiter uh, marketplace. To be fair, it doesn't appear from there and the stuff isn't in the background anymore. So you can put whatever you want on there. It doesn't affect the market screen anymore. And kind of same thing with the codex. You can kind of see it in the background there. Which I'm now... How, am I, how have I never noticed that before? You can't see it at all in the marketplace, but you can still kind of see it in the codex. Hence, I kind of put it over here, but you can barely see it in the top right. Place it wherever you want. The only limitation is your own imagination as to where you can actually put this thing. And I do like this thing. The fact that it moves, the fact it makes noises. I just really wish that it had have been a companion. That would have made it the ultimate owl. But sadly it's not, it's just a landing craft decoration and worth getting a hold of because it actually looks nice and it actually moves. There's not many landing craft decorations that actually move properly. There's a few of them that have decent physics to them that come maybe once a year. This thing is obtainable all year round. And you can have more than one, so I keep getting told. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.